2019 saw Disney's biggest year ever at the box office, with a series of $7 billion blockbusters breaking in over $10 billion accumulatively worldwide. The best for any studio in history. 2020, however, is shaping up to be a fairly modest, understated year for the company, who will release a total of nine pictures across their Disney, Pixar and Marvel banners. While the Fox acquisition has fully taken effect and Disney are advertising and distributing the movies as their own, the Fox releases for 2020 were in production prior to Disney ownership and will thus be excluded from this list. Additionally, while many Disney Plus exclusive films are rumoured or announced, none have official release dates, so we'll be giving those a skip too and simply focusing on theatrical releases. Please also note, release dates given in this video are only tentative and are subject to change. As with last year, it's entirely possible movies will be delayed, pushed forward, removed or even added to the roster. Before we go any further, don't forget to give this video a like. It does wonders in getting my content out there. And also weigh in down in the comments below with your most anticipated picks for the year. At that, let's get into it. The inaugural release of 2020 is the first of two Disney Pixar releases for the year, Onward, making 2020 the first year since 2017 to offer more than one Pixar film and likewise marking their first original feature since that same year. Onward will hit cinemas in the USA and in the UK on the 6th of March, in Australia almost an entire month later on the 2nd of April, and across Europe and Asia between March and April. Disney's synopsis reads, Set in a suburban fantasy world, Disney and Pixar's Onward introduces two teenage elf brothers who embark on an extraordinary quest to discover if there is still a little magic left out there, to somehow find a way to spend one last magical day with their father. Written by Monsters University writer and director Dan Scanlon, Onward looks to be an incredibly unique and exciting Pixar adventure, though many have noted it seems to be a narrative and visual departure from the studio's previous work. For me, that's pretty intriguing and I'm looking forward to seeing the studio dive into new territory. Onward stars the vocal talents of Tom Holland and Chris Pratt and a supporting cast which includes Julia Louis-Dreyfus, Octavia Spencer and Ali Wong. It is also directed by Scanlon. Walt Disney Pictures' first major release of 2020, Mulan, will be the sole live-action remake of the year, a far cry from the five released across 2019. Based on their 1998 Renaissance-era animated classic, Mulan is set to arguably be Walt Disney Pictures' biggest tentpole of the year and will hit cinemas in Australia on the 26th of March, in the USA and the UK on the 27th of March and across Europe and Asia between March and April. Disney's official synopsis for the film reads, Mulan is the epic adventure of a fearless young woman who masquerades as a man in order to fight northern invaders attacking China. The eldest daughter of an honoured warrior, Hua Mulan, is spirited, determined and quick on her feet. When the Emperor issues a decree that one man per family must serve in the Imperial Army, she steps in to take the place of her ailing father as Hua Zhan, becoming one of China's greatest warriors ever. While Mulan will take elements from the animated classic, it will present a more traditional version of the story inspired by the original Chinese legend. That said, there will be no musical sequences, with music from the animation instead worked into the film's score. While not a huge fan of the original animation, I do have a tremendous amount of respect for it, and this is possibly my most anticipated Disney release of the year. Mulan stars Liu Yafei as Mulan, and features a supporting cast including Donnie Yen, Jason Scott Lee, Gong Li and Jet Li. It is directed by Nikki Caro. Next up is the first of two theatrical Marvel Studios releases of 2020 and the first installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe's fourth phase, Black Widow, the long-awaited solo movie for Scarlett Johansson's Natasha Romanoff. It will hit cinemas in Australia on the 30th of April, in the USA and the UK on the 1st of May, and across Europe and Asia between April and May. While no detailed synopsis has been put out for the film just yet, the movie will focus on the exploits of Natasha Romanov between the events of Captain America's Civil War and Avengers Infinity War as she returns to Russia to reconnect with family and settle old debts. Following last year's enormous blockbusters Avengers Endgame and Spider-Man Far From Home, Black Widow comes back to Earth for a grounded, gritty espionage thriller in the vein of Captain America The Winter Soldier and the Mission Impossible franchise. This is one I haven't been all that excited for, but the excellent trailer 
trailer which dropped a few months back has made this a highly anticipated 2020 release. The film of course stars Scarlett Johansson once more as Natasha Romanoff aka Black Widow and co-stars Florence Pugh, David Harbour and Rachel Weisz. It's directed by Kate Shortland. Originally set for an August release in 2019, the troubled Artemis Fowl saw a last minute drop from schedule, finding itself replaced by Maleficent Mistress of Evil. Instead pushed into 2020, Artemis Fowl will now release in Australia on the 28th of May, in the USA and the UK on the 29th of May, and across Europe and Asia between July and September. Based on a series of novels by Owen Colfer, Disney's synopsis for Artemis Fowl reads, descended from a long line of criminal masterminds, 12 year old genius Artemis Fowl finds himself in a battle of strength and cunning against a powerful hidden race of fairies who may be behind his father's disappearance. The fact that Artemis got bumped from the schedule so soon before release only reiterates the apprehensions I had for this movie way back at the beginning of 2019. This is a film that has very little hype surrounding it and a trailer that makes it look like one of Disney's lackluster late 2000s blockbuster flops. I honestly wouldn't be surprised to see this one drop from schedule once more and instead dumped on Disney Plus as an exclusive. The film stars Ferdia Shaw as the title character alongside Josh Gad and Judy Dench. It's directed by Cinderella and Thor director Kenneth Branagh. Next up is Pixar's second feature for the year, Soul, which will this time be treading somewhat more familiar existential ground. Soul will hit cinemas in Australia on the 18th of June, in the USA and the UK on the 19th of June, and across Europe and Asia between June and October. Disney's synopsis reads, Ever wonder where your passion, your dreams and your interests come from? What is it that makes you, you? In 2020, Pixar Animation Studios takes you on a journey from the streets of New York City to the cosmic realms to discover the answers to life's most important questions. Soul will mark the very first Pixar film to star a black lead and a production predominantly black cast. It will star the voice talents of Jamie Foxx as Joe Gardner, a talented pianist whose dreams are cut short thanks to a tragic accident, and Tina Fey as 21, a lost soul who promises to bring him back to his body. Having loved Pixar's existential dramedies in the past, I'm totally pumped for this one as it certainly sounds like it could be an all-time favourite. Alongside Foxx and Fey, it also stars Darby Diggs, Felicia Rashad and Questlove. It's directed by two-time Academy Award winning Pixar director Pete Doctor of Up, Inside Out and Monsters Inc. Disney Studios' major tentpole for the summer is a semi-original that takes inspiration from the fan favourite Disneyland attraction, Jungle Cruise. The film will open in Australia on the 23rd of July, in the USA and the UK on the 24th of July, and across Europe and Asia between July and August. Disney's synopsis reads, Disney's Jungle Cruise is an adventure-filled Amazon jungle expedition starring Dwayne John Johnson as Frank, the charismatic riverboat captain, and Emily Blunt as Lily, a determined explorer on a research mission. Jungle Cruise was originally set for an October 2019 release, but was bumped into 2020, it's said to give the studio a blockbuster release for the summer. Judging by what we've seen so far, Jungle Cruise looks to have the potential to be Disney's next big original franchise, with real Pirates of the Caribbean vibes in its large-scale high action adventure and fantasy and in its supernatural elements. I'm certainly looking forward to it and think it looks like an absolute blast. I'm hoping that it can fill the hole left by Pirates, a favourite franchise of mine, and it's not another enormous flop like The Lone Ranger or other live action theme park inspired picks like The Haunted Mansion or Country Bears. Alongside the charismatic Johnson and Blunt, the film also stars Jesse Plemons, Paul Giamatti and Jack Whitehall. It's directed by Wam Collett Sarah. Following next we yet another original film from Walt Disney Studios and their final live action for the year, the one and only Ivan, based on the best-selling book by K.A. Applegate, in turn inspired by true events. Ivan will hit cinemas in the USA and the UK on the 14th of August, across Europe between the 12th and 14th of August, and in Australia on the 24th of September. While Disney is yet to release an official synopsis for the film just yet, the following is the synopsis for Applegate's book. Based on the true story of a uniquely talented gorilla and the other animals who share a communal habitat at a suburban shopping mall, the one and only Ivan is an unforgettable tale about the beauty of friendship, the power of visualisation and the significance of the place we call home. This is another one that's been kicking around the studio for quite a few years and promises to be a hybrid live action CG animated film, featuring real life humans and animated 
animal characters. As Disney's originals haven't fared too well in cinemas recently, Ivan has odds weighed against it, and in this climate, may be another best suited for Disney+. Plus. However, it has an interesting premise and a great cast, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it shapes up. One and only Ivan stars the voice talents of Angelina Jolie, Sam Rockwell, Danny DeVito, and Helen Mirren, with a live-action performance from Brian Cranston. It is directed by Thea Sharrick and produced by Jolie. Next up, there will be a three-month gap with no new Disney releases. With the next, Marvel's The Eternals, their major release for the fall. Eternals will land in Australia on the 29th of October, and a week later in the USA and the UK on the 6th of November. It will release across Europe between the 4th and 6th of November, with no release dates yet set for Asia. Eternals is the next MCU installment to introduce new characters to the franchise, focusing on the immortal race of supreme beings. Described by Marvel, as an offshoot of the evolutionary process, in which the Celestials created sentient life on Earth, with the abilities of superhuman strength, telepathy, flight, teleportation, illusion casting, and the generation of various forms of energy from their bodies. Not much is known of the Eternals plot just yet, but the film was described by Marvel President Kevin Feige as full Jack Kirby, so we're likely to expect another epic, extravagant space adventure akin to the Guardians of the Galaxy, which I'm super pumped to check out. The movie stars an ensemble cast including, once again, Angelina Jolie, Selma Hayek, Richard Madden, Kumail Nanjiani, and Brian Tyree Henry, among others. It is directed by Chloe Zhao. And bringing Disney's year to a close is their annual feature from Walt Disney Animation Studios, Raya and the Last Dragon, another original animated adventure. Raya will open in the USA and the UK on the 25th of November and as usual in Australia a week after Christmas on New Year's Eve the 31st of December. While Raya hasn't been given an official synopsis just yet, it's said to be inspired by the beautiful diverse cultures of Southeast Asia and will focus on an ancient reimagined earth inhabited by an ancient civilization that venerates and worships dragons. It will see lead character Raya, a fearless and passionate lone warrior on a quest to find the last dragon Sisu, inspired by the auspicious water spirits of Southeast Asia. Animated features are always a highlight of the Disney calendar year for me, and I'm certainly excited to sink into this one, especially considering the similar original action adventures Moana and Tangled are two of my favourite Disney animations of the last decade. The film stars Cassie Steele as Raya and Awkwafina as Sisu. It is directed by Frozen and Big Hero 6 story artists come first time directors Paul Briggs and Dean Wellens. And at that we come to the end of our Disney 2020 movie preview, so I'm going to throw it over to you. How are you feeling about Disney's slate for the year? Are you excited or somewhat underwhelmed? I'm honestly a little bit of both, but certainly looking forward to all of the upcoming original adventures. Additionally, let me know what films you're most looking forward to. Fire away in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more like it in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen, as well as that like button down below for that little extra support. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.